Hey guys, how's it going? This is Fabio again from 3D Dreaming. This week we are bringing you a brand new tutorial. We are looking a little bit at uh, 3ds Max and how to create uh, some sort of like a tractor point, like the ones that you see, for instance, in tools like uh, Grasshopper and Rhino. Uh, some people also imitate that in Maya. Um, this is not really an attractor point, it's more a mesh deformer. Uh, we can get this kind of results. Um, it looks cool and it can be applied to modeling techniques such as uh, architecture ones. And, you know, we'll go through the, all the steps to reproduce this geometry and um, you can have fun with it, okay? So, I haven't really rehearsed this thing. Um, but we will go ahead and we'll do it again uh, together. Okay, so I delete everything and I'm just gonna go into the um, uh, standard primitives and I'm gonna create a, a plane. Okay, so now this plane, here I have about 20 uh, subdivisions, yeah, let's make 25. There we go. In order to visualize them, we hit F4 and then we'll drop into the modifier panel, we'll drop a um, edit poly. There it is. We'll select all the um, uh, polygons and we'll say uh, inset by polygon. We'll give it a little inset. We'll check on the uh, little checkpoint and click on animate yeah in this way max will remember our selection uh, mode um, let's do another thing now let's go and extrude this we'll extrude them by polygon we'll extrude them just a tiny little bit that should be enough and we'll click on check as well so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna drop a um, turbo smooth there it is and let me just put a material so that we can uh, uh, look at this thing better, yeah? Okay, that should do. And I'm gonna um, undo the wireframe, so I'll click on F4 uh, so that we can only see the, the, the solid mesh. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna put a uh, displace. Let's look for it. Displace, displace, there it is modifier. Now I'm gonna set this into a uh, to um, spherical and I'm gonna adjust the strength. Now as you can see whilst I adjust the strength this modifier starts to affect my geometry. Now in order for me to enable this um, modifier uh, movement I have to go to its gizmo so I click on the little plus here then I'll grab the gizmo and I'll start to play around with it. As you can see the mesh is quite uh, blocky. What I have to do, I have to go back to the turbo smooth and add uh, an iteration. Now what happens is that this mesh gets modified. I, I still haven't figured out why is that, but eventually if I go back to the edit poly and then I'll grab the uh, gizmo again, I can play with it then I'll go to the edit poly and this won't be visible anymore. Um, now what I'm trying to understand, because I still haven't done that, is how to uh, create this um, visible mode where we just basically see the modifier acting but we don't really see the, the, the displacement. Let's have a look. No, it keeps popping out. Mm, it's very weird. But anyway, uh, once you're in a, in a poly mode, oh, there it is. So you just have to unclick the polygon uh, selection. That's very good. Okay, so now what we can do, we can go to the displays, right click, hit copy, and paste. There you go. Now we have another displace modifier, we'll hit on the gizmo and we'll move it. And this way we have two attractor points. Now we can straighten that up, therefore it will affect a larger area. And we can do the same for the other one as well. 
eventually what we can do we can move this up and down and the type of attraction will uh, um, the simulation of the attraction will be inverse yeah so we can get some very good um, funky effects and we can use that to create uh, surfaces for our buildings uh, and things like that okay so now let's have a look and see um, which kind of iteration we can achieve with this I think it's gonna mess up our definition but we can still try oh look at that this is actually very cool let's try to see if we do 10 and 10 oh this is even better there you go uh, do not write to me uh, on this video asking me oh how did you do that because as I told you I'm imp improvising uh, we had a little bit of luck with that um, I suggest you to follow this tutorial try to repeat the things uh, that I did um, carefully and you shall be able to to achieve the same result so uh, you know if you like the video hit the like button um, post your comments um, if you have any request um, just write it write it to me or uh, follow us uh, on 3d dreaming um, com or we also have a Facebook page I can show it to you uh, let's have a look there it is this is our Facebook page just go there and follow our stories um, you can talk either to me or uh, Mike it's a friend of mine he's also a senior editor for this page and uh, you know uh, let us know what you think okay so have a good day guys